of One West Linux Fitness, your host, The Terminator here, going to do a how-to video on Bowflex, that's right, it's how to set up rotator cuffs for the Bowflex, alright, so first, we have to go ahead and unravel our Bowflex here, because wrapping your Bowflex up actually helps out the rod strength. All right, anyway, so in this video, I will be explaining the awesomeness of doing this exercise, not only doing it correctly, but also proper form, proper breathing, and also improper ways that I've seen other people do it along the way as well. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves started here on this wor workout showing how to all right so obviously this way right now that the terminator is doing it is not the proper way this is definitely 100 percent wrong bro what are you doing dude like like what are you what even is this wait well what are you bro bro come on dude you know better than this bro come on bro oh man dude what is he doing what what is this guy up to what I don't even understand anymore. What am I just like the am I just over here trying to talk and he's over here messing around? Come on, man. Do it right. Yeah, I can see you. That's right. All right. Yeah. All right. That's not how you do it, okay? This is the proper way to do it. All right. You grab these two uh, handlebars here. You got to connect them to your bow flex right here with with the hooks and 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 all the grapple hooks and stuff. All right. Don't forget to do the other side too, because you gotta have both arms going at the same time. Unilateral you know, exercises take a lot longer than doing it at the same so time. Sure, you can, you know, you can do that. That's fine. But if you want, if you want to go through the exercise a little bit quicker, definitely don't do that. Of course, choose your weight for rotator cuffs. Rotator cuffs are a smaller muscle group, so choosing too much weight is not the best idea for these kinds of muscles, especially. Uh, because of higher risk of injury. All right, so I'm gonna do this sit seated one, but you can also stand up. I wanna scoop forward just enough to make sure that you get a full and good rep. Make sure that you're on there properly. When you go up, you breathe in. When you go down, you breathe out. Make sure to always try to keep your back as straight as you possibly can. All right, when you're standing up, this is a little bit different. Uh, as you can tell, I'm at a, I'm at a higher angle, so my, I'm going to have to do it just a tiny bit differently on this machine. But it's the same basic concept here. Um, and then, of course, this way, improper movements and improper kind of stuff like that. I don't even know what this stuff is, but this is actually some of what I've seen. Some people that don't even know what they're doing in the gym, uh, they, they just kind of like make up random stuff and think that it's right. And I understand if you're like a beginner and you don't quite understand what's going on yet, but here's our muscle groups. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be explaining what muscle groups are worked. Okay, so here we are on to our uh, rotator cuffs, which are inside of the shoulders right here in between in the front and the back. And then, of course, it is going to be working your shoulders just a tiny bit but you may not feel it a lot. You will feel it just a little bit in your core as well as every other or exercise that you do. Works your core just a little bit and then you might feel just a little bit of pressure on your wrists along the way. All right, well, that was a good muscle chart explanation. Hopefully you guys liked it. Please grab life by the horns. Unleash your inner bull. Like, subscribe comment and don't forget to have a great day